That's the bluest turkey sandwich I ever seen. Zach, let the treasure hunt begin. Let the treasure hunt begin. A crowded place, and yet it is very quiet there. Crowded and Have quiet. You it out, Zach? It must be the graveyard. Ah, that There's makes lots sense. Of people there, but none of them can speak. You that see? makes a lot of sense, actually. So let's get going. To I was trying to think, where haven't we been? It's probably somewhere we haven't been. I was going to look at the map if I actually had to figure it out. But no, the game figured it out for me. Thanks. Good shit. All right. Let's get dappered up with this pink suit and let's move on. Anyway, you missed the PS2 days, Steve? I don't really miss the PS2 days. But then again, I didn't have my own. I had a GameCube during that era. Um, and by the way, I am playing this on a PS3, if you couldn't tell by the button prompts. And the save screen was probably pretty obviously a PS3 save screen. Um, but anyway... Oh, hello. Have I been on this side path? I have now, bitch. But yeah, as I was saying, Steve, um, if you want to get sound alerts for your stream, it's actually pretty easy. Sound alerts is actually the name of the plugin. It's like a like a it's Twitch plugin. It's literally a plugin that Twitch has on it, so you can like go in and install it. It's like an ex a Twitch extension, and then you just install it, and then you can uh, pick the sounds you want, and boom, you can have them be free. You can have them cost channel points. Although I don't think you're an affiliate yet, so channel points isn't an option yet. Um, you can also let them cost bits if you want people to pay you for making certain sounds. Like, you know, certain sounds can cost people real money if you wanted to. Yeah, otherwise it's just a little soundboard with free sounds. You can easily do that. Um, I can show you how to set it up later if you would like. But it's pretty easy if you just go to Twitch extensions and find the sound alert one. Then you just have to, like, log in with your Twitch account. And then you can set it up. Oh, I know you're new to this. That's why I'm explaining. I've been doing this a long time, man. If you got questions about stream setups and stuff, I mean, I can only hope I can answer most of the questions, to be honest. I mean, I claim to be like an expert, high-level streamer, but I at least have knowledge. Ooh, what this? Oh, it's one of the bones. I wasn't even looking at the map. Nice. And don't talk about burritos, man. I'm hungry. Nito burrito. Funky is Zach, hungry. You're supposed to play along with Harry's little game, remember? I know. I'm with you on that. Yeah, but I gotta I collect this bone real quick, either. homie. We just got a sternum. A two frame per second sternum. But we've got three victims now. A human bone... This doesn't look related to the case, but shouldn't I let someone know? I think he was still talking in his little cutscene about the victims and shit. Like, dude, we're not worried about that right now. We're collecting bones. God. Francis York Morgan over here. Mr. Francis York Morgan doesn't pay attention, do he? All right, flip a bitch, and the adventure continues. We. Definitely have not been down this backside path, but hell yeah, worth it. Lots of extra puntos, and it takes us directly toward where I want to be. Although, let me look at the map real quick and see which way I should actually go from here, because this is like the railroad tracks. No idea where the shit leads. Okay, the road roads picks up back over here. This is actually the junkyard. Okay. And he has a new quest. This motherfucker has a new quest. Okay. Okay, I actually just need to go right over here. We're actually almost there. So, that, wait. This is the graveyard? I guess so. There's another bone or two over here. Wait. Oh, I can get another bone over here. Um, I'm here. If I go over here, I can grab another bone. And I can use this path to take me straight to the graveyard. Let's do that. Fuck whatever I was thinking. Let's go get these bones. Perhaps tomorrow. You're about to head to bed right now. Had to go get Andrew tonight because Ashley had to stay overnight at the hospital. We found out Tuesday that he has stage 4 bile duct cancer. 
Aw, oh, man. That fucking sucks, dude. Aw, oh, dude. That fucking sucks. Wow. I don't even know what to say to that, dude. I'm sorry. Holy shit. Yeah, if I'm if I'm around, man, uh, definitely. But damn, dude. Kind of got me, <laughs> got me, got me shook a little bit. I'm like, uh, I don't know what to say, man. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. That sucks. It's fucking crazy, man. Supposed to be a bone over here somewhere, isn't there? Oh, you know what? I think it was further along. I think I'm supposed to take this other path to my left back the way I came. But yeah, for real, man. Ugh, man, it's crazy. Five year life expectancy for type of cancer is three percent, so you're trying to prepare for the worst. Nah, that's cool man. I, I, I understand. I mean I know you didn't mean to do that. I you're just informing me of the situation. Cause I I did see you say that about say that to uh tomorrow there in the chat you wanted to tell her something important, and I was like, Man, I hope it's not bad. <sighs> Apparently it's bad, dude. That sucks. Well, shit man <laughs> it's all right luckily i don't plan to go for much longer <laughs> so i can go be sad about it in a minute <laughs> sorry <laughs> i feel so bad about it now let's collect hip bones god damn it ah <laughs> fuck a human bone a human bone this doesn't look related to the case but shouldn't i let someone know I guess we're going to collect an entire fucking corpse before we're done with this little bone collection quest thing. Alright, I gotta flip a bitch and go back the way I came, but hold on, there's more points to be had. Let's not ditch the points. Hell no. Hell no. Anyway, we're going to head back to the way now. Dad passed away from esophagus cancer in December. My dad just beat colon cancer, and now she's got cancer. <sighs> Fucking crazy, man. try to get back in the right mindset for the stream for the moment. I'm going to wrap this up on a... <laughs> well, not that this game has high notes. Most of the game is pretty somber and weird on its own. I don't need to make that... I don't, the game can do that on its own. I don't need to be weird about it. <laughs> Alright, well, we're here at the graveyard. Let's go talk to creepy weirdo fucking Dampeg, the gravekeeper dude. I'm pretty sure he exists around here somewhere. Wait, what did he say was here? The red, little red Just as Harry said, flower seeds are here? It's crowded and quiet. Yeah, dude, for real. Go go take a nap, bro. You need you need sleep. So you, you have a good night, hopefully. You know, sleep as best you can. And... Hey, Brian. Shh. Man. Agent. Mr. Agent, how are you? Oh, uh, not bad. I'm, uh... Just playing a little game with Harry. Game? 
A game? Oh, huh. Is that fun? We've only just started, Brian. The fun is about to begin. I'd like to ask you something, actually. Is there a tree in the graveyard that drops red seeds? Seeds? Red seeds? That? That tree does. That one right there. And that one. And all these other ones, too. One too. The all entire field of red seeds. seed trees. Idiot. Well, I guess we found him. But what does this mean? It doesn't really mean anything if they're all over the fucking place, does it? Okay, I guess he just has green tomatoes here. Attack of the green tomatoes. So we haven't been to the graveyard yet. I figured there was going to be some stuff here that we can pick up. Steal, take points. There's a card here. No, there's not a card. There's a bone here, though. Oh, and a grave that's just open. This grave has been dug up. Why would anyone do such a thing? Well, why don't you ask the fucking gravekeeper who's literally right there? He'd be like, I dug that up this morning. Well, but why? Because uh, I have to bury another body, duh. Oh, like, oh. All right, well, uh, I guess we need to go in there. There's That's where I need to go get my bone. I need to go in there and get bone, bro. Oh, shit. Is, oh, I'm going to have to go around, aren't I? Because this shit's got a crazy chain on it. I'm going around because this cage got a crazy chain. Her bluey. Gonna shoot this dude in his fucking nuts. More nuts. Damn, I got a lot of shots actually. Alright. Fudged him up. Bullets I can't hold. Bolts I literally, literally can't hold. Hold up. Let me, uh, let me shotgun Saturday night this bitch right here. See ya. Let's go. You get out of my face. Get out of my face. Wait, what? Oh. I took two steps in and now I'm locked in forever. Alright, well, this must be the right way then, huh? Suppose so. Alright, you, sir, I need to cease your existence in my face. You know what? I'm just going to shotgun my way through here for the sake of time. Wow, did that really kill her? I literally shot the fence in front of me and it killed her. I'm not complaining. Dude, the spread on this shotgun is quite incredible. I cannot deny. Oh, God. There's a dude behind me. Ah! This bitch. Get the fuck off my ass. Oh, man. You knocked me on my ass. Now I'm stuck, and I can't. And I can't. Oh, my. Can I please? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I had to reload. Oh, my God. I fucked up. I fucked up, y'all. I didn't realize I had to reload, and I still didn't get to, get to reload because these fuckers are in my way and shit, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can I please? 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 Oh, my God. Dude! The fuck? All right. Fine. Just fucking jump on my fucking ass. I don't care. Thank you. I just want to reload. And then turn around. Stick it out. Plus these bitches, because you got to shout. Holy fuck, man. This is ridiculous. Lucky for me, I have a lot of healing items. But Jeebus, man. Dude, stop spawning more fuckers. Go away. I'm sick of your shits. I'm sick of your drizzling, drizzling shits. Oh my god, I knew that bitch spawned behind me and I couldn't move. Some busy sh getting getting salty over here, y'all. 
Move the fuck out of my way. You do the speed limit, get the fuck out of my way. There's too many dudes. Shotgun man! I right, can't pick up that. Can I pick up this one? Oh my god, not if there's a not if I'm getting surrounded! Ah! I didn't mean to do that. Dude, seriously? You are all up on my dick right now, homie. I <sighs> I'm fucking hating this right now. Reload. Getting a bunch of CP or whatever, but like, good lord. Please leave me alone, motherfuckers. I'm trying to make some progress and I'm being a dumb walking back and forth. Oh god. I'm just trying to see some shotgun ammo if they're dropping it. I can't really tell. They keep getting cock blocked by these fucking fucks. Dude, this bitch ain't even dead. What? How's that even possible? Fuck out of here. These literally must be never ending. Can I just, can I just fucking cease your existence and let me move? Really? Fuck that hoe. I just want to see if she's dropped some shotgun ammo. She's probably not gonna. You're kind of disappointed the pink isn't the, the pink the suit isn't more pink yeah i mean it's pretty pink but like the lighting in this game is so dull and gray that it makes this, the pink of the suit just kind of get like doled out so you can't even tell how pink it is like there's like this green tint on the game everything has like this green gray tint on it, it takes away from the pinkiness it's almost like a peach suit, but even not that pink. Like, it's less pink than that. Is there guys on my ass right now? There's one. Two. Spicy food! That's what he said, right? I hate spicy food. Right. How do we get in here? Do we push it? Push it real good? Push it real good. Got another bone. We got the left foot bone. I think we already had the right foot bone. A human bone? A human bone? I should tell somebody about this human bone. But who do I tell about the human bone? Nothing in those boxes, huh? Color me death up. Anything else in here? I guess it's just the marker we came in here for then, huh? All right. What do we have? What is the point? Seeing all the trees with the red seeds. Oh, no. Zach, mission accomplished. Let's get back to Harry's. Mission the accomplished. Reward. Better be good. All we had to do was prove where they came from. Like, what else matters here? But, you know, about these seeds, they were right here under my nose. The whole time? It's as if I was carefully carrying a bottle of water 
while walking in a pool. We're learning the countryside version of common sense the hard way, Zach. Well, alrighty then. Also, Maro, you're gonna go take 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 the blah, blah, blah. you're gonna go to sleep now. Okay. You have a good night, and I will and try to enjoy the rest of the stream for tonight. Um I will uh Yeah. I'm probably not gonna go for that much longer because I'm getting pretty hungry, but I am gonna go for long enough to uh make a little more progress. I'll probably at least go back to Harry's mansion right now. Do I have to go back the way I came? Because I really just wanna get out of here. Can somebody please just open this? Man. I gotta go back the way I came, I guess. I don't want to kill the enemies again. I just want to be done with that. I don't have any space for all these fucking bullets either. But now I know all the shit that I was complaining about not picking up was just auto bullets. I can't hold it anyways. And combine that with the fact that... Uh, I uh, tried to get myself fucking killed to do that. That was pretty dumb. Um, what's up, Brian? Anything else you got to say? Bad seeds. I won't touch them. They're red and bad. Bad and red. Red and bad. Red is bad. Red is bad, I'm going. I don't touch those red seeds because they're red. Red is bad, I'm going. Okay, day. Let's get out of here. Back in my sports car. Bye. Back to Harry Harryhausen's house. All right, let's get back to it. Big man to it. Big 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 boo. Ah, motherfuck. Okay. Wait, why am I going this way? Oh my god. If I lean too hard, my car's gonna go fucking flying, apparently. Jesus. All right, well, I should probably map it out on the map because I don't know which way is the best way to go. I don't know. What? I don't know. I need to go over this way anyways, you dude. Okay, so I need to go back over here. Which means... I could just go through town again. Which means I'm going the wrong way. Although I could go to Cope's Tunnel. It is right here. You know what? Fuck it. We're here. I said if I was in the vicinity, I'd do it. I didn't realize it was literally right here next to me. Let's fucking do the tunnel. Sure. Let's see what the fuck the tunnel's all about. Hey, what's up, Cash? Welcome to the stream. You've been lurking for a while, but you finally have a chance to say hey. Game's going pretty good, man. I got a faster car, which is pretty tits. Making some progress on the story, which is always a good thing. And now we're going to check out whatever this little fucking marker on the map is. It's supposed to be like a little side quest treasure hunt type thing. I don't really know what the reward's going to be, but I'm actually quite curious to see. Probably going to have to fight some ghosts, if I had to guess. But let's see. Anyway, how are you doing today, casual? That's the famous paranormal place they talked about. Maybe I should give it a shot. What? The, I'll give this a shot, sure. What? What is this? I don't even know what's about to happen right now. You won't ever play the game when you enter a tunnel, hold your breath to the end, and then you make a wish? I have not. Also, what the fuck is this shit? Okay, here we go, I guess. Anyway, you're here, man. Nice to chill out, that's for sure. You been having a hectic night or something, man? I think you were playing something earlier. You were playing a fucking WWE game earlier, weren't you? How, how was your little WWE stream earlier? These shotgun ammos? Hell yeah, give me that. This is a perfect opportunity to just talk about random shit while we're doing, I guess this is like a combat challenge. But yeah. Um, yeah. What were you doing on the WWE game? Shotgun 
Shotgun ammo, please. I guess I'll take that. I actually need to heal kind of bad, too. Yeah, you were. It was just... You were fun. Uh, it was fun. You just wanted something. You could just chill and uh, chat. You just did some car rumbles. Car rumbles? C-A-W rumbles? What's a C-A-W run rumble? I feel like I should know what C-A-W is and I'm being stupid. What this? Stabilizer. Oh, create a wrestle. Okay, gotcha. So you were just like pitting some created wrestlers against each other? That's fun. Were you doing like, like you were taking like, I'm assuming you're taking like created characters that are like based on stuff. Like you were doing like, I don't know, Laura Croft versus Solid Snake, but created in, in create a wrestler. That's what I'm picturing anyways. Fucking doing some goddamn like, uh, what's it called? Uh, celebrity deathmatch style shit. Wait, what? We shouldn't go any further. Let's go somewhere else. No problem. Let's stay together. No problem. I don't know what's going on. This is weird. Is this like a fucking like dungeon where I have to go through like multiple floors of this shit? I have no idea what the hell this even is. Okay. Alright, let me do that again, but I'll pick the other option. I don't know what the hell this even is. I'm just confused as to what the hell I'm supposed to accomplish here. Honestly, you had a whole league of people. You intend to eventually do like a whole comedy type story based around all, so all originals. Oh, okay, cool. So you have like a bunch of original, original characters you've created. That's fun. Hey, man, that's even better if you got stuff you've created yourself. That's more fun that way. Give them personalities, have whole backstories and shit. That's good stuff. You were just doing, like, commentary, but you ended up top talking about mental health for most of it. Oh, dang. You had one of those days, huh? Understandable. Yeah, doing the wrestling commentary on wrestling games is fun. It's like, turn, turn King and JR off. I got this. I don't know if that's... I don't know if you can have King and JR in that game specifically. 2K19, I think it was, you were playing. But yeah. It's probably stupid-ass Michael Cole and... Uh, what's his face? Um, Corey Graves. Corey Graves is fine. I fucking hate Michael Cole. Just sit back and eat your barbecue sauce. JR, sassafras. Anyway, FML's home. We can all celebrate. Woo. Wait, why are we celebrating? Just because you're not at work anymore? <sighs> okay, so I'm assuming I should go let's stay together. Wait. Oh, is this a door I can open? Hold up. You damn right it is. So I basically just exited out of it. Uh, okay, so there's multiple stages of this. Interesting. Arshu. This might end up being the last thing I do tonight, then. We might not even make it back to Harry's house tonight. Because I'm thinking I don't want to play that long. Or that much longer. I'm getting pretty hungry. I say that I'm going to sit here and do this fucking challenge for like fucking 30 more minutes and shit. We'll see. I really hope it doesn't take me that long. I'm about to heal up a bit so I can pick that shit up. You need to eat more for dinner. You're getting hungry again. Yeah, dude. Why don't you eat a little bit more? I know you're counting carbs or whatever, but like, what's the fucking point if you're always hungry? You, need, you probably need to eat more often is what you need to do. 
Oh, Stop doing that three meals a day crap or whatever you're doing and just eat like seven times a day. Just eat a little bit seven times. And I'm not even exaggerating when I say seven. Right, I'm going to use a large first aid kit and I'm going to pick this one up. Basically, it's like taking one meal and just eating it twice before you eat it all. That kind of thing. What you really want to try is intermittent fasting. Why? What? What? Why would you do intermittent fasting? Why? You're not even... Like, dude, you've already lost hella weight. Why the hell do you need to fast now? Not sure how true it is, but a bunch of small meals or snacks speeds up metabolism. I mean, yeah... The small meals is good if you're going to work out more. Okay, that's what I was trying to get at. Is Once you fucking start working out more, which is what you probably should be doing, then you eat seven small meals a day and you won't be hungry as much. Basically, like, half of them are snacks or, like, you take a meal and you eat half of it and then the other half later. I, I don't know, man. I feel like you're at a point where you need to start changing up what you're doing if you want to make some real progress from with, with what you want. And I don't think intermittent fasting is the problem. You already are hungry. You're going to do fasting also. Fuck off, shovel man. Ah, shit. Fucking... Fucking fucking fuck. So every time you eat your insulin spikes, when you only do it a few times, it's much easier to burn fat. Dude, you don't even have fat. You're going to... I mean, you do, but like... How are you going to gain muscle if you just lose all your fucking weight? You have to eat to gain muscle. You know that, right? <laughs> Unless you don't plan on making any muscle and you just want to be a stick. You're just going to be a fucking twig? Is that what you want? What I'm saying, your weight is fine. So what are you even trying to do, man? I guess if you just want to stay skinny and a stick and just do push-ups, then I guess what you're doing is fine. Go ahead and fast all you want. I don't care. I don't, whatever. <sighs> anyway, man. Do what you must. I guess if you want that belly to be like a fucking washboard, then sure. Do your thing. I wonder how many fucking challenges this fucking thing has. Ow! That did a lot of damage. Uh. Holy shit, I forgot how much the shotgun damage does to me. Jesus. Use some of these small ones. We got a lot of them. No, no, no. You with the shotgun. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'll shoot you in the nuts, bitch. You're next, ho. Wearing the nuts, ho. Sit down. Shotgun shells, I'll take them. I'm about to bust my shotgun out, actually. This is a good time to start using it now that we got harder enemies that also have shotguns. That pow nut shot. Pow! Right in the nuts. Damn, hella ammo. Let's go. Oh, y'all about to get fucked up now. Can't even carry anymore, bitch. Stay down, ho.
Just try to fucking shotgun and fucking whip me. So you stay the fuck down. How dare you? The shoddy is Morrow's favorite weapon? Dude, it's everyone's favorite weapon. The shotgun is the best weapon ever in the history of ever, ever. At least for video games. Like if you don't have if you're if you have a game about guns with guns and you don't got shotguns, what are you doing with yourself, dude? What kind of game designer are you? Fucking shotgun, bro. The rhino is your favorite weapon? Like the rhino from fucking Ratchet and Clank? That rhino? That's pretty random, but okay. I mean, that weapon is pretty pretty savage. No, no doubt about it. Gun blades are pretty dope, but what if you could have a shotgun gun blade? Wait, wasn't there a shotgun? You mean shotgun blade? Patty shotgun blade. Um, I don't know. But there should be one. And don't be hating on Squall, bitch. How many more? Oh, well, we might be at the end of this. Whatever the hell this is. What's my final reward? It better be worth it. What? It's a fucking submachine gun? Don't I ha Well, at least the challenge will be done, I hope. But that was fucking... That was fucking useless. Wow. The dubstep gun from Saints Row. I actually haven't played Saints Row, but I know all about the wub 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 dubstep gun for show. That's hilarious. Alright, so if you do finish the map spot, it actually counts. So that one gave me a fucking machine gun. I bet you the other one gives me a goddamn shotgun, and it's just a complete waste of time. Cool beans. I guess you can do these as many times as you want. No thanks. Waste of fucking time. Glad we could oblige. Actually, going this way wouldn't be bad. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I was trying to drive by. No. Fucking wobbly ass car. God damn it. Pass. Pass on this. Also, yes, there's, there's a giant dildo weapon in uh, Saints Row as well, which is pretty fucking hilarious. Uh, anyway, you're going to talk shit on Squall? Some Something tells me no matter what, you're going to love everything about Final Fantasy IX. Because, of, because I know your opinions about how RPGs are, you're going to like Final Fantasy IX probably for everything that it is. You're probably going to love everything about IX. I'm not even like trying to exaggerate. I'm not even saying that because I love Final Fantasy IX. I'm just saying that I think you will love it. I truly believe that you will love that game. Like, the only reason you wouldn't love it is because you're just being a real fucking bitch hole complaining about everything, which has happened, could happen again, but I seriously doubt you're going to do that with 9, because now you just played 8, and you have that on your mind, so you're going to make every comparison to 8 that you can, and like everything about 9, probably. Believe it or not, I'd like to enjoy every game I play. Oh, I know, I know. I'm not saying you naysay everything. You're not like Dragon, who's just looking for something wrong with everything, I swear. Nine is so cool with how dark it is, but it has such a cute art style. Yeah, exactly. Nine is great, man. I love nine. Like, nine. I mean, we go to Final Fantasy games. Nine's still like my third favorite one or fourth favorite if you count Final Fantasy Tactics. Like, if you count the numbered Final Fantasies, number nine is still my third favorite one. So it's not like I don't like it as much as like other games. It's just it just happens to be the third one I like the most. That's all. I fucking love Final Fantasy nine. Holy f- I was just driving. I didn't hit the brakes or nothing. This car's got some crazy-ass handling. Jesus. Zidane is what was on one of the few characters. Few main characters who's not all emo. 
Yeah, he's definitely not your typical emo fucking Cloud Squall character. Although I wouldn't call Cloud Cloud emo. I would just call him like quiet and short with people. And Squall's kind of the same, but Squall Squall's more emo. If you're gonna go, if you're gonna call somebody emo, Squall definitely fits that bill more. I don't think Cloud's emo. If you, the more you learn about Cloud, the more you're like, he's not really emo. He's just weird, and he and he and he's weird because he's all fucked up, like in the head. If his head wasn't so fucked up, Cloud wouldn't be so weird, probably. But his head's all fucked up. At least Squall, like, at least Cloud has an excuse. Squall is just actually an emo kid and he breaks he breaks out of his emo phase in the game that's kind of like the story arc of of squall he starts emo and breaks out of that phase and you know what i said about not going to harry's house we're going to harry's house we're going to end it after this all i know is it better not be a whole nother fucking dungeon right now if it is i'm stopping i just want it to be cutscenes. I'll stop when there's a save point. Mr. Francis York Morgan. Francis Finally, York Morgan. You, have arrived. you are welcome to come inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me in. Orphans do have a reason to be emo, I suppose. Well, I mean, yeah. Now that you know more about Squall, you see why he is the way he is, right? Like, you get it. <sighs> Let's save it after all that fucking ridiculous shit we just did. Eight definitely had a better story than eight. I know you meant seven, but it was funny that you said eight is better than eight. <laughs> you think eight had a better story than seven? Interesting, though. I mean, personally, I tend to kind of agree because I love Final Fantasy VIII, but I love Final Fantasy VII story also. So. Oh, look who's back. Back again. Back again with some bullshit, my friend. Made the piano turn another direction. Are we going to have to do a different puzzle this time? Probably. Mr. Francis York Morgan, please proceed to Mr. Stewart's room. There he awaits you, I shall assume. I shall assume. Well, alrighty then. Anyway, you think the whole time compression thing is cool, but Seven has really well done world and story as well. Yes, I think Seven's world, like overall world, is fucking incredible. Like, I like Eight's... I like places in Eight, but I don't know if the whole world is cool. Like, I feel like the map is huge, and there's not that many places, to be fair. And I love Eight. I'm not trying to naysay on it. I'm just trying to... I'm being... I'm being... I'm being critical about a game I love. Because I love the places you get to go in 8. But the map is fucking humongous. Anyway, we are doing another puzzle. My favorite. Awesome. Cool. This is a toolbox. I don't, I don't need to be in here. We're good. Let's get out of here. But anyway, Final Fantasy VIII story is better than 11, 13, 14, and 15. Uh, I mean, I probably agree with that overall, yes. I love eight, so yeah, I would agree with that. I can't take this can of pineapples. I feel gypped. Lame. What world are you in in 14? I am up to Stormblood, actually, uh, casual. Um... I started the actual Stormblood story last time I streamed it. I've basically only been streaming the story. So I'm when I'm playing 14 on my own time, I'm just leveling stuff and doing dailies and shit. And doing all the side quests that aren't main story quests, which there's not a lot for me to do right now other than dailies. Um, and I guess job, level, job quests for certain jobs I haven't finished maxing yet. Um, but anyway, I'm on Stormblood. Once I get done with October stuff, my plan is to go back to streaming 14 and get on the weekends regularly and getting through Stormblood as, as quickly as possible so we can do Shadowbringer. And then I can play Endwalker when it comes out, although I'm guaranteeing I won't get that far that fast. And yeah, you can ask. Um, we, and I say we because all the homies have been joining the server with us. Uh, we are on the Crystal server. We're on the Goblin um, world or whatever. So yeah, that's what we're on. When I say the homies, I mean me and Morrow and Dragon 
an FML over here if he ever plays again. And uh, Pickles on there. Uh, who else plays with us? I'm blanking, but there's more people. Oh, Allegory and his homies are on there. But yeah, if you uh, if you catch us if you catch us on there or when we're streaming it, you can always add us as a friend and then join our FC if you want. I don't know if you have an FC already, but you're willing to join if you'd like. What am I doing? I'm pushing these these statues, and I have no idea why. I'm assuming there's a purpose to pushing them, but I do not have any context to this. So I'm not going to push them yet. Although I do see there are numbers. Okay, so we probably need coordinates. It looks like this is a six by six. We need coordinates. Let's go find some coordinates, y'all. And that probably opens up that door when you solve it. Alrighty then. But yeah, for sure, Cash. You can join in whenever you like, sir. Math it the fuck up. So, I've seen these pieces of paper over here. What are these about? Piano Sonata number 14, Moonlight. Piano Sonata number 23, Appassionata. Piano Sonata number 26, Le Dieu. These three musical scores have been left open. Another of Harry's games. I think I already know the answer. I need coordinates, right? Six by six coordinates to be exact. How about coordinate one four, two three, two six? Oh yes. Fourteen, twenty three, twenty six. Just remember those three numbers. We got this. Fourteen, twenty three, twenty six, bitch. Fourteen, twenty three, twenty six, bit, 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 bit. Fourteen, twenty three, twenty six, bit. All right, yeah. This, these are all locked doors. This is pointless. Let's just go do the thing. Easy peasy. I got this. All right, so fourteen, one, four. So that's up here. 23, 26 are the other ones, so it'll be, well, like, yeah, I'm assuming, oh, these are, oh, even better. These are double digit numbers. This is even easier. So 14 would be, yeah, 10, 4, yeah, so that'll be this spot. 26 and 23 will be uh, here and here. Okay, so let's move this one to the 26th spot. Because that's the closest it's next to. Maybe when you figure out how to follow the map more, you'll play more 14. Well then. I guess I guess FML's never gonna play. Wait, what did I say? 26? We're on yeah, we're in the six column. We should need to get the two row. One more spot. One more? Alright, you are locked in. Ooh, and it even it even says when you got the right spot. Nice. Noise. That's how I know I have it right. Okay. Ready? Okay. Re ready? Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. Ready? Ready? Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. No pun intended, but you love my tie. You should get one just like it, FML. In fact, my suit is actually very pink, but for some reason, it doesn't look very pink when you're in most of the lighting in this game. But this is supposed to be a cherry blossom suit and tie. But the suit does not look very pink right now. Anyway, you played 14 a lot a few years ago, but all your friends stopped and you lost interest on your own. That is a fair thing to happen, Casual. Uh, I assume once I play Endwalker and do all the content in that, because the homies are going to play with me, well... They will. They're probably all going to be done with it before me, but let's hope not. I really want to get through Stormblood and Shadowbringer ASAP, but again, I can't. I can only do what I can do in the amount of time that I have. I'm only a, I'm only but a man with, with a life that I have. I must do other things with my life, like not just play 14 all the time. But regardless, I'm going to try and get through Stormblood ASAP, and then I can work on Sto Shadowbringer and again get through that ASAP. Uh, what did I say? 23? So I need to just go up one and right one. You also wear ties like Donkey Kong casual? Nice. Darn But yeah. <sighs> I look forward to more Stormblood eventually. 
Okay, next conversation. I'm guessing this is what this chapter is all about. We're just going to keep coming... Like, he's going to keep giving us another clue, and we go find it, and then we come back here and do another puzzle and talk to him some more. That seems to be the formula we're building here. I know this is only the second time, but a formula like this only happening twice is a pretty low chance. It's going to... Pretty high chance we're going to do at least one more round of this. Go do another one of his wild goose chases for a clue, and then come back. Why am I running over this way? I guess just to see what these rooms have. Oh, snap. Worth it. Also, there's a mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Which York is the cutest of them all? That would be me. Hell yeah, y'all. Let's go. That was a good block puzzle. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't good. <laughs> is that dude making you his errand boy? He's not really making me his errand boy. Not really. Like, I'm not... I mean, unless he is, and I don't know. I guess unbeknownst to me, I could be doing things for him. So wait, does this lead back? Okay, this leads back. Alright, cool. Pointless, but cool. Alright, got some extra points. Got to look at myself in the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me, mirror, what is wrong? Nothing, because you hot, bitch. <laughs> all right, where does this go? Okay, so we have, like, all these locked doors that just lead back around to the beginning, which is interesting. But I don't want to go back to the beginning. I want to move on my life. I want to get to where Mr. Harry is. I need to speak with him. Better open. Damn right. But let's not talk about Zelda right now, because I really want to play a Zelda game, which is going to happen pretty soon. But first, Mr. Francis York Morgan, I presume. Harry, turns out what you said was true. And I'd like to hear more. York, as you know, there's a powerful mystery surrounding these seeds. Hell yeah. You've seen them at those other murders that took place elsewhere. And you've seen them deeply involved with the murders in this town. That's right. But how do you know all this? York, you must be younger than you look. Youngsters tend to hurry so much that they let things slip right past them. What you need to do is slow this down a bit. That way you'll see what's really important. Let me tell you. Story. Fifty years ago, when the war was over, just about when the communist red started to become a rising threat, our town constructed a huge clock tower. Then, soon afterwards, a serial killer wearing a red raincoat. The legend of the raincoat killer? Stop playing games with me, Harry. That's nothing more than folklore. The FBI has no such record of a multiple homicide case in this town. York. Anna, Becky, and now Diane. Their deaths are real, not folklore, not legend. so real, but under a strict gag order, the mass murder case was never made public. In fact, one could say that it was completely erased from history. Tell me, who do you think would be able to do something like that? 
the military. But if there are no records about it, then how do you know it really happened? Good question, York. Why would I know this? The answer is very simple. I was there. Yeah, no shit. I saw it with my own eyes. The brutal killer himself. But we can talk about the details of that encounter another time. What we need to talk about is your raincoat killer. The new raincoat killer, if you will. The if you will. New rain I'm the real one. one. That'd be a pretty sick place to have your window, though, right on the waterfall. That's pretty sick. saying that the series of cases I've been following are all linked to this town. That's interesting, Harry. But there's no evidence to support that story. None of the criminals we caught for the other murders ever mentioned anything like that. It's your job. they do. The old sheriff back then hated the military and did his own investigation. I need you to bring those documents here to me. Once you've done that, I'll tell you everything I know. <laughs> okay, it's worth a look. And we may as well let the old man have his fun. So, that's the end of this little chapter, Red Seed. What it seems to me is that this dude is definitely, he's very, the reason why he knows about the Raincoat Killer, the original one, is probably because he was the original Raincoat Killer, which would be hilarious, but fucked up too, that he like, got away with it and he just lives here in this town now. I mean, that's probably not true. But it's possible. And of course this game looks like shit FML. It's on my PS3. And also this game is just looks like shit in general. <laughs> my PS3 likes to make every game look even more shit than it is. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm going to let this save, let the cutscene play out, and then we'll stop after this. It's just kind of give us a taste for what we're going to see next time. But it sounds like we're going to the sheriff's office to uh, scrounge up some old files. And drink oot beer. Documents from a case that happened 50 years ago. Let's play along with the old man for a little longer, shall we? 
Let's play on Zach, a that little means longer. You need to head for the sheriff's department. Do 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 a little stronger. And now we're done with today's stream. Here we go. All right, guys, that is going to be all for Deadly Premonition for today. I just saved it from finishing that chapter. And, uh, well, we'll jump in my sweet car and we're going to head to the sheriff's office and find some files and apparently give them to the guy who was the killer from all those years ago. I don't know if that's true yet, but again, it could make sense. All right. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying, and I'll see you guys in the next one real soon. Peace out.